Watch our walls. Wall, wall tiles, tiles should be laid after, after your floor, floor tiles. tiles. Why? You want the wall tiles to sit on top, just for a better waterproofing mechanism. Now we start off with measuring up the shower. The standard height of a shower is 2.1 metres high. We're using 600 mil tiles. So what we need to do is measure down every 600 until our last full tile. Once you've got that line marked, now you need to level it off. It's really important to get the first row perfect because that's what governs the rest of your wall. If this is your first DIY tiling job, it's a good idea to leave the bottom row last and start tiling one tile up. To do this, use tile jacks and a straight edge to hold the second row in place. It's essential to get 100% of glue coverage on the back of the tile. Again, we're using a leveling system will make your job a lot easier. These also double as a spacer. You can find these products from Beaumont's. Then each tile in your bottom row can be cut to fit. To cut the tiles, mark out your measurements on the tile and score and snap. Now it's time to cut some holes around some spindles. Mark the centre points of your spindle. Use your grinder to create a pilot hole. That way, when you go to drill your hole, your drill will stay in place. You can use a DTA hole cutter and a handyman drill to get your hole. Push it on and don't forget to clean up as you go. Last step before grouting, all you have to do is grab a hammer and knock it out of the clips. When you go to break them, break them towards the grout line. So this one, we break this way, and this one with the vertical lines, we broke that way. Keep the area clean as you go. Grouting time. You only need a small amount of water when you're mixing grout because a little bit of grout goes a long way. Massage all the grout in the grout lines. To wash off the excessive grout, use a squeezed out sponge and wipe on a 45 degree angle. Once we've finished our primary wash and it's dried off, squeeze out a sponge of water and then simply wipe the tile. Turn the sponge around and wipe again. Repeat this process throughout your whole wall. We're up to silicon. You squirt the silicon inside your internal corners. Use a smoothing agent over the top of it and then cut it back with a paddle pop stick. It's very important to use silicon because it is an expansion joint. If you use grout, your grout will only crack over time. Last step, spray some more soothing agent and cut it back with your finger. That gives it a nice smooth finish. All right, once you finish the grouting, all you have to do is chuck all in your plumbing fittings, clean it all up and you're done. For any more hints and tips, Download the fact sheet off the Beaumont's website and all the best for any DIY jobs you have at home.